All right, hello everyone. My name is Anson Dan, and welcome back to Prison Architect. We are in our super max slash maximum security prison, uh, where we have built a super max wing in the last episode. We are now waiting on our permanent punishments that are be are coming in in about 15 hours from now. So then we will be able to finally lock away Adam Griffin forever, and our guards will bring him food whenever he needs it in the designated time status and I'm thinking that our cooks will probably be enough we've got two of them now let's take a look at this our super max well I mean maximum is the same as normal right so if we look at this is it the same yes the same so this is this is the same as our normal um, maximum security so eating will start I mean it's it's actually adjacent to each other it's sort of connected so well, eh. We might, we might need an actual additional cook, but do we only have the two now? I think we do. We've got four? Four cooks? Where are they? We've got two here. This is, this does say four, right? So are they actually maybe out here somewhere uh, getting food from somewhere? Oh, maybe they're in the uh, staff room? No. Okay, so now I'm confused. Uh, we'll just let it run and we'll see what happens. See if they magically spawn from somewhere. Uh, I must be missing them, but I, I honestly... I don't know. This is interesting. Uh, staff wages, we've got minus 600. But we can't really tell how that really works. I suppose maybe this doesn't mean that we have four cooks right now. I don't know. There's one. Okay. Oh, this is... No, that's just the same one. Okay, but this is good. So this means that actually we've got one cook who's going to get to work on this in this kitchen. And while the other one is working here. Still, I only see two cooks. When is our first eating time? It's at 8 a.m. And I think we should probably be fine. We've got the uh, ingredients. This guy just needs to get cooking. And then we'll probably be all right. Okay, so let's speed it up. We'll wait for the permanent punishments. We've got three maximum security dudes coming in. We've got enough guards to deal with that, so that should be fine. This is the first stack of cooked ingredients here. Very nice. I think we will have a taser requirements uh, class in a bit, apparently. Are you going to work or not? Come on, do something. Okay, so this will be this will be enough probably for the eating in about three hours from now. So it's quite a lot of time as well. And I'm hoping that this cook will actually join in here and help out a bit. Should that be necessary? I'm really quite excited about the uh, the super max wing here. It's going to be very interesting to see if the permanent punishments will do their their expected work. Oh, we've got the parole officers. Did we have someone actually leave on parole? Or did he fail? I don't know. We, I think we can see if we look at parole hearing. One finished, zero passed. So I suppose he failed. That's a shame because if he was uh, was um, released, I think we would have gotten a bo gotten a bonus of about. Uh, I think normally it's it's uh, 3k, but I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's more for maximum security prisoners. So I would be interested to see how much it's gonna be. Yes, there's three cooks now. I can I can see three cooks. So the third one must have been somewhere around. I still don't know where though, but oh well. Okay, so we've got the prisoners coming in in 30 minutes. Everyone is waking up. This guy is actually should still be asleep, but he isn't. Okay. I don't like the fact that we have so many dudes in one shower. Um, that's going to be quite dangerous. We did pl do some planning here. And I think we wanted to create more uh, a shower here. Is that true? Can't remember, actually. But I think that's correct. And maybe we can also expand the one here. We've got, we've got positive cash flow. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. You just get the get that get get out of there. Can we can we get you out of there? 
Seriously. Ah, uh, Griffin, Griffin, Griffin. Even now, he's locked in a cell, and even now. Can we just maybe wait until there are reinforcements? You just get out of there. Come on. You are not gonna win this. No, I can't, I can't do it. He's gonna die. And he missed. Well, that's great. So, I wonder, why did he want to do this, though? I mean, his needs are fine, actually. He's got a good cell. Really, we should only go in there once... I mean, probably the guard went in there because he was destroying stuff. So, what we need, probably, is more armed guards here. That's what I'm thinking. Because we probably are going to lose someone again. This guy has a baton now, which means that this guy... I mean, no, that's not going to end well. I could maybe permanently lock this door for now but that would seriously <laughs> be problematic for this guy uh, uh, do we have any other guys coming in I mean it doesn't look like it does it maybe this works I don't know he missed his taste so yeah there's that okay let's see um, okay let's first fix the uh, deployment. And I need an armed guard. Okay, so we don't have enough armed guards here. That is clear now. Okay, so we'll. I mean, probably he's in the staff room or something, or maybe doing something else. We'll just get one here. I mean, this is sort of cheating, but this. No, I actually should have placed him there, but oh well. This might help us out in this case. No, don't do it. Come on, come on. Missed. Oh dear, oh dear. Look at this. I mean, come on. Okay, at least he's unconscious now. This guy, you, need to seriously help out here. This door will be locked open for now. Okay, so, but, but I think we made it. Oh, but why? I mean, look at this. One, two, three, four, five guards, of which three are armed guards. And still, he, he, he managed to make it work for himself. Now, this means that he will actually be going to uh, solitary, which is a shame because uh, that will probably make him very angry. We could, well, uh, maybe we can um, uh, stop his punishment, we'll see. Uh, okay, so permanent punishment is 56%. Okay, we've got our new prisoners coming in actually they have already been placed it seems no here they come okay so this door can be opened yes and the doctor yeah you should heal those guys up very nice good 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 okay oh dear oh dear okay you are going to solitary probably lockdown Solitary confinement, eight hours. Okay. It's going to be searched his cell in case he has dug a tunnel. I don't think he has, but you never know, right? Who's this? Campion? Tristan Rar Monkey. Campion. Interesting. Attempted murder, assault, manslaughter, violent disorder, and manslaughter again. Served 25 years of his 59 years. So he's got some ways to go. You can open this door now. And why do we not have... Uh, we don't have enough guards. Okay, so there we go. CCTV is active again. How's our food situation here? Not good, because there isn't any. So this is strange, right? I mean, why? Let's just get another cook in here. I mean, we are losing money. That's fine. Okay, yeah, that worked, actually. That's just one. One tray. For someone. At least at least take it. I mean, it's there. It's there for the grabbing. Okay, this will work, though. Um, five. Yeah, okay, very good. So these guys are now getting food. That's actually nice. I, I think these guys are probably... What, what are you in here for? Found drugs. Wow. Whitley. Right, okay. And you are just scum. Okay. 
Prim punishment, 67%. Still quite some time away. We'll speed this up and hopefully we'll get it. And then hopefully we won't have to deal with Adam Griffin anymore. <sighs> I mean, the problem is that there's just there was just at that moment one guard rather than maybe the three that we needed to defeat him. So... Hmm. But I also don't really want to have two armed guards on this patrol. We could maybe get another dog handler here. That could be interesting. And just have him patrol around. Yeah, let's do that. It's going to cost us a lot of money, this, but oh well. Okay, so we need probably some more dog handlers, because apparently we are not manning all our patrol routes. And we've got two in here, so yeah. Lots of guards just sitting here as well, resting. Hmm, right, right, okay, so this guy, I mean, he's fine, this one seems to be fine as well. Okay, can we maybe, no, we can't actually stop his punishments. It's sort of fine, though. When's he um, gonna eat again? Okay, that's at 8 p.m., so I think he's gonna get out of here before then, yeah, four hours solitary. Yeah, that should be fine. So that means he will get food. Uh, so that means that he probably won't break a cell down in the night. At least I hope so. This guy, why are you leaving? You're just going somewhere else. Okay. It seems a, like a bit of a waste of money to put maybe two or three guards on this same patrol route here. So I don't really want to do it. But at the same time, that, that Adam Griffin dude, he just needs, I mean, maybe two, three, or even four guards near him. So they can be immediately tased if he starts acting up. So, But that means that we are going to lose a lot of money. We did get the positive money flow. So that was pretty, pretty nice to see. But now... Hmm. Uh, let's see, we don't have anyone up for parole. We will probably have to bring in some more prisoners. We've got some more spots, but that's mostly for Supermax. So do we have anyone... Can we can we tell? Everyone's high risk, of course. I want to bump some dudes up to uh, to Max Supermax. Because that would free up a cell for a new dude to come in. Um, I'm not quite sure how we can do that. It seems that most of these guys did not have a incident for quite some time. Eight days without incident. Good man. Nice. So there's no reason to put some of these guys on Supermax. Literacy. Well, there's a bookshelf there. He'll get there. Mm, four days, two days. I mean, most of these guys seem fine, actually. Okay, so we'll just have to be patient until someone Fs up, right? I don't like uh, that we don't have any um, metal detectors here. Playing pool. Okay. That's good for you. He's got some freedom. Prisoner. Ah! This is... Okay. This is not good. He's gonna have to... Food. Quite quickly. We've got two guards near him, so might be all right. Eat, eating time is now, so he's going to go there right now. He's going to eat here, which is... Yeah, okay, that works. Okay, so fine. <sighs> yeah, these guys have, have gotten food as well. That's good. Okay, so this system sort of works. Yeah. Although I don't like the fact that he is now again in a holding cell rather than a normal cell, right? So we'll have to put him back in his old cell. Will that work? Yeah, that works. Okay. So actually we can click on something and designate a cell to someone. So we forced this cell on him right now, and that's fine with me. I'd rather have a happy Adam Griffin who does no harm than uh, an Adam Griffin who fits with his cell quality and break it every time so that's that's fine okay so it seems like we have permanent punishments right so what we'll do is get adam griffin 
to be permanently in lockdown. So this is going to be his his living arrangement. Uh, you, Sexton, you are also going to be on permanent lockdown. And you as well. I have no idea what you did here. But that's just how it's going to be. So you are permanently locked down. Nice. I'm very curious to see if this will work. Uh, he's got a TV. No, he's got a radio. So he can just listen to that uh, all day long. And that probably will help with this um, radio thingy. We might want to do something like a bookshelf. I mean, I have... I, I want to spend a lot of money to keep these guys happy. Because in the end, that's going to... That's going to be best for our prison as well. Uh, can we do a shakedown maybe? Is that necessary? I think I will do a shakedown. Uh, we've got some guards available. Not everyone is sleeping. I think these are the new prisoners who have to sort of get used to our schedule. Yeah, that makes sense. Shakedown. Here we go. Two tasers. <laughs> that would be annoying if, if a, a guard actually tased us. Uh, no, a guard was tased by someone, I mean. This guy actually had a screwdriver. Syringe. Okay, shakedowns seem to be going quite well, actually. We've got some batons there. Not sure if those had already been found. Um, yes. Okay, so now we can actually pick some dudes from solitary and maybe get them to supermax. If they have weapons, for example. What what did you do, for example? Uh, well, drugs, I mean, okay. Uh, I, I really don't... Okay, yeah, well, okay. Two hours is fine. Can, we should be able to maybe... Uh, let's see. No, uh, policy. Say, if you are a supermax dude... Oh, oh. I really don't want you to be punished. Uh, attack prisoner, attack staff, super max. And you are going to be bumped up as well. Found weapons, found tools. Well, any escape attempt? Yes, super max. Uh, I think we will actually bring this down a couple of hours just so that we don't make it difficult on ourselves. So I want to be able to set punishments per uh, security risk, but I don't think that's possible. Oh well, because I just won't, don't want any supermax dudes in solitary. I just want them to be in here because that's where they're going to be anyway. So what did you do? You have found weapons. Yeah, I don't really like found weapons. Can you maybe tell what kind of weapon he did have? Oh, that's my cat eating. Uh, it doesn't say, does it? Well, doesn't matter. You're going to be super max and you're going to be in lockdown permanently. And you, uh, drugs, yeah, that's okay. And you are super max already, so all right. It's taking so long, the, uh, the shakedown. Some more drugs here. Okay, that was the shakedown. I mean, for drugs, I'm not going to bump you to super max. But if you have weapons, you are going to be super max and permanent lockdown. That's just the way it's going to be. Um, let's take a look at our logistics. We've got demand. We've got two prisoners assigned, apparently. That doesn't sound right. Yeah, apparently it is right. I think we will have... Let's see. Yeah, Andrew Saxton, you are going to be there. And you, James Martin, aren't going to be there. No, not to holding cell. Uh, why don't you not in the holding cell? Maybe we can just uh, delete the holding cell. Okay, so he, they are leaving, actually. So it seems to be fine-ish. Okay. We've got a thousand bucks for prisoner intake. So that's one prisoner. And that's because we bumped one person up to permanent lockdown and supermax. We've got enough stacks of food here. 
When is eating taking place? In about an hour. So I'm very curious to see how this will go. There's only one guard here now. We don't have the um, the dog handler at the moment, just because we don't have enough, I think. Here, there's one sleeping. Oh well. Uh, so, in theory, our guards should bring the food to the prisoners. So I'm going to be very interested to see... Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Very nice. And immediately, it's it's just completely gone. Bam. They don't even take their time to eat it. It's just blah, blah, blah. Which I'm... Uh, with some weird sounds. But yeah, that, that seems to work. Very good. So, hopefully no more issues with these dudes. Let's just let, let them be in their cells. And we will focus on probably expanding our prison. Because I think we can take it. We probably can make some more cells and maybe showers. I think I'm gonna... Let's see, where do we want? We've got only six people. No, maybe eight people on this side of the uh, of the hall. We can we can actually tell by food distribution. Uh, I'm sorry about my cat, but I'm not gonna tell her to stop eating. Ten prisoners on this side, sixteen. So ideally, we should we should probably start building here and then maybe build a shower here, a large one. I think that makes sense. So uh, we are building with concrete in this prison. So let's continue that tradition and. I think I'm gonna go like this and then we'll break it down here like uh, the same like we did there that's actually not correct this is correct and we will break uh, this down and we'll place a large jail door there jail yeah jail door again this guy is what's what's your deal environment Okay, so we actually need someone to clean up in here right now. You know, the problem is that everyone who's working can't get to here because this is super max only, right? So what if we hire... Oh, I don't really want to hire a new generator. It's only 50 bucks a day, though. Start there. Come on. Yes! Amazing! It somehow works. But now... No, you forgot a spot. Oh, here we go again. Destruction. He stopped though. He was he was very quick to stop. And I don't even think he was tasered. He should just clean his own cell, right? No one. Okay. So environment is a bit better. Uh, we could maybe get tiles that are prettier. Is that a thing? I don't, I'm not sure. I don't, it doesn't look like it. Um, we could get a window. Would that be interesting? I don't know. Uh, actually, it doesn't work anymore because of um, what we are building here. Okay. So... Environment is still pretty bad, but it's could be worse. Yep, just get out of there because you don't want to be in there. Trust me. And are these guys actually... No, yeah, see, they, he stopped, I think. Right at the doorstep of the Supermax dudes. Uh, Supermax dudes can't work. So, our janitors are the only ones who can actually clean in here, unfortunately. That is a shame. So environment is gonna be, it's gonna stay an issue here. So I think we just need things that are, thank you, are actually pretty and help us with that. Yeah, uh, but I'm not quite sure uh, how that works actually. We We might be able to do something, but for now I think we'll just leave him be. He's just gonna be relaxing. I mean, this is. I mean, this. Is, these are fine levels. Not for this guy, by the way. Look at this. He needs literacy, and that's. I mean, that's fine. We'll get you a bookshelf. Here you go. Probably. I, I have a feeling that Griffin is not gonna need it, but eh, you never know. He might turn his life around. You never know. 
Okay, so did we place one here? I can't remember. No, it doesn't look like it. I have to be honest though, these cells do look really, really bad and dirty. So that's fair enough. So let's see, money is gonna be a problem in a bit. Um, is there something we can do? Yeah, we can increase the size of our security force and that will bring in 20k. How are we doing on shares? We've got 80% we can share, uh, we can actually sell another share in our prison. And we will do that. And hopefully buy it back some, some, someday. Okay. Um, shower. I think we are gonna make a big shower here. And then maybe we can actually do away with this shower. And then make that uh, cells again. Would that be... I think that could work. Uh, first off though, let's start with a concrete wall. And maybe something like this. I'm gonna freeform this, just so you know. Yes, demolish wall in there. This doesn't make any sense though. Um, no. Okay, so we can build one more cell. So let's create a gap here. We can create one cell here. Right? Yes. And then we'll go off of that. And we'll probably demolish this once we have our showers up and running. Okay, let's um, get some more work done here. Mm, like so. Shower hats. Shower hats. Wall, no. Eh. We'll just go like this. And that probably is where we are going to install our shower heads. Should I think it should work. Although we need to have some space here. Like so. Isn't that pretty? This is not pretty. Uh, we would actually be better off probably just getting rid of this wall Oop. there you go and uh, maybe the other way around is that would that be a thing sure although I'm not quite sure if this is the most efficient way of doing this this is just how we are going to do it so there you go This does make quite a lot of space for uh, for showering here, so I like that. We will keep this wall free because I'm not quite sure which uh, where we are gonna do uh, stuff with that wall. Okay, so lots of showers. No, actually, this one I don't like. That will hold up everyone. Uh, let's just place them like this, just so we don't forget. Okay, and now let's bring in our utilities. Um, yeah, through there makes sense. And then we'll bring in the piping, which is basically the entire floor, I think, right? Sure. It seems to be derpy, but it will work at least. <laughs> Look at this. Okay. Okay, so that's gonna be the first part of this uh, of this part of the building. We've got 13 hours until we've got new prisoners, so we might try. Ah, yes, he cleaned his cell. Very nice. Can we maybe? No. Yes, I like this janitor. Look at him go. Amazing. Uh, I think we'll just build our cells straight away. And we could theoretically copy this. Right? And uh, does that work? Um, I'm not sure how that works. Clone. Okay, how does this work again? Um, 
Let's see. Come to hold the right mouse button and drag an area that wants you to want to click. Then left click somewhere else in prison. Okay. No, that's incorrect. This is correct. Am I correct? I think I am. Here we go. Yes. Looks good, at least. Maybe do something like this and begin with that, and then we'll clone the other side as well. Like so. The only thing I don't like about this is the fact that our jail doors are going to be installed straight away. And that means that it's going to be more difficult for our builders to actually get in there. Also, we need our utilities because they aren't lower lane, lane down. Aren't placed yet. Um, it's going to be the same on the other side, of course. So there you go. And there you go. I think this should probably work. Yes. Okay, so we'll put in a cut now because we've gone, been going on for a bit too long. When we come back, we'll see how this is going to end. Uh, well, not end. I mean how this building is going to be finished. And hopefully we'll uh, have it done in time for uh, new prisoners to uh, arrive. And then we can finally make some more money again. Yeah, because we need it. In any case, I want to thank you guys for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you again in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.